hey guys what's up it's your favorite witch on the internet emma the enchantress this video is about my full moon rituals learn to be very gentle with myself respectful of however the energy may show up in my life following the full moon some of the things that come up are very deep rooted i'm just patient with myself during the cycles I promised you guys a video about how i revamped my skin from within that is actually part of this video i'm gonna see how that ties into my full moon rituals so keep watching I was just in like my morning vibes and I was pulling some tarot, doing a sun meditation. My full moon ceremonies always last the entire cycle of the full moon. I like to start my ritual with the release portion of my ceremony. The second day of the full moon is the invitation ceremony. The last day of the full moon I call it the indulgence ceremony. It's when I'm just kind of enjoying the new energy. The kids and I wrote down what we wanted to release and then we burnt it in my cauldron and flushed the ash down the toilet. I did a smoke ceremony to my ancestors just reverencing their presence during my weekend ceremony. I did a bit of dancing, a bit of high vibes. I like to look at myself in the mirror and speak positivity to myself who I am since the last full moon and just reaffirmed myself, my progress. So I started with that and that conversation usually ends with dance. Dance is just such a good way to move things in our body and to move the energy around. Throughout my day, I was just very extra intentional in my day, like spending time with my daughter at the beach, neighborhood that I desire to live in. Just manifesting a lifestyle like that right in the noon, like after the releasing yesterday, how do I feel? How do I see myself? What is the future days looking like? Then I write affirmations that coincide with these statements I made about myself and thought. I write a verbal way of creating that statement into being. These will be my affirmations to say for the next 21 days as I sleep with what I wrote under my pillow with a rose quartz, a citrine, uh, crystals that I'm drawn to. I reprogram my subconscious with these new affirmations and new awarenesses of my myself for 21 days and be a completely different vibe. Really that simple. After I've activated the energy today, I see results instantly with this ritual that I've been doing with the full moons. The third day after the full moon, I like to embody how the difference would feel in whatever way that looks like. Like I'm feeling the feelings now, so tomorrow will just be the day that I apply them to my lifestyle and see all the changes I can make to adjust to become that person that I desire. I charge my crystals, my cards, I create moon water. I always bring them in before the sun comes up. I sleep, I be sure my curtains open so the moon is shining right down on me. I like to do things under the moon. I'm so blessed to have a window that brings in the sun, brings in the moon. This is why I brought up talking about skin. Moon cycles, such a perfect time to release things about our appearance. Like you can do physical changes to yourself through intention, through magic, and through manifestation. I took a year off of all beauty treatments, injections, I did Botox, I did lips, I did lashes, I did brows, I did microblading, I did microneedling, I did teeth whitening, tanning, did everything. I was religious about my hair. I have found myself in such a space that I feel equally as beautiful in this state right now, like first thing in the morning, in my goddess state, in my natural vibration, I feel so beautiful so radiant i don't even feel the need to enhance it in any way but i really do love the pleasure of connecting with other women over beauty the conversation like my last tag like our conversation sama like if you're watching this they're so good right so looking forward to having that chapter open again in my life i cleared my skin within the first month of first of all changing my mindset around it affirming to myself how i wanted my skin to look how i wanted my hair to look like i had short hair a year and a half ago guys the lashes grew back so fast after getting lash extensions for like forever nails have been growing speaking to self was one of the most important things and improving my appearance I speak to myself as i'm doing the motions like speak beauty into my face the intention of what you want to look as envision yourself that way and it's crazy it brings about such a fast result so now is the part of the video where i'm going to share with you everything that i do for my skin i've become super religious about my skincare routines i have an am pm and even a sunday skincare routine that i'm obsessed with so the first thing that I do, water. I drink one of these a day. Don't even ask me anything about skin if you're not drinking water. 
before I have my water in the morning. I have a hot cup of water with some lemon, ginger, and honey in it. I have this as soon as I wake up. I take some buckthorn oil and I put a drop under my tongue. What I use for my cleanser, I've been using this for the last month and a half. I like to like wait three months before I full send it with a product. So far so good though, this is vegan cruelty free, natural ingredients, just everything a girly wants on her face. So I cleanse day and night with this, always rinse with cold water, always be sure all the product is off of your face, always let your face air dry. Do not pick your skin. Every three days I use a vitamin C scrub. Sundays when I do my skincare for my daughter, this is a mask that we use. And on Sundays, I do heat mask, eye patches, lip mask. It's just like a whole spa feel. After I cleanse, I use a toner, same brand as my cleanser. And I just put a little on my hand and pat it onto my face. I store my vitamin C serum in the fridge. And the vitamin C that I have been loving is a 20% vitamin C. I just put it on my hands and pat it on my face let it dry for about a minute. And the last part of my morning skincare routine, mix jojoba oil and castor oil together and use that as the moisturizer on my skin. I put a little on my hands, just a little bit of the oil because you don't want too much. I just pat it onto my skin to moisturize, let that dry about five or 10 minutes. And then I use my SPF 50 sunscreen. Evening routine, I cleanse again with the cleanser that I showed you, cold water rinse. And for my toner, I use witch hazel. Aloe vera is the moisturizer for the evening. That's what I've been using for my skincare. I've seen results within the first month of changing up my routine. Quick recap. Do your affirmations, do your subliminals, imagine how you want to look, water. Be sure your skin products have natural ingredients and that they're gentle. Use cold water to rinse, don't pick your skin. Be gentle with the application, smaller amount, really is key to not having over product on your face, which causes clogging of pores and excess dirt. Whatever products you decide to use on your skin, the intention is the most important part. Also to make it a routine. This was a lot of fun sharing with you what I've done to enhance my inner goddess and bring her forth. And I love taking care of my body. That is my sanctuary. Share in the comments below what you do to enhance your beauty and beauty routines that you really enjoy. To check out my website because I have a beauty magic spell. Also created a planetary productivity guide that has helped me fall into my soft girl era. Scheduling my week aligned with the cosmos. Universal love.